Good evening, everybody. This is Michelle on the eve of the eclipse, and I am honored to have been able to be with you as an energy guide through this um, very special eclipse portal. And I just want to tell you how grateful and how loved I have felt watching um, all of your comments and just to tell each and every one of you how much I love you and how this has been an incredible experience for me. So much so that I'm going to continue to do this for a little while longer, getting us ready um, and through the Emerald Gateway. So even though this eclipse is, um, is tomorrow, we're gonna keep going for a little while longer and no promises of exactly how long, but we're gonna try and keep up the, the phenomenal energy work that's been happening together. So I love you and that's my commitment to you is to keep going. So tonight, I wanna talk about the fact that tomorrow is the eclipse and so what are people expecting? So the first thing to keep in mind is even if you're not gonna see the eclipse, let's say you're at work, let's say you're in another place or another country, um, that you're not gonna be in, in seeing it, or let's say you're here in Orlando, Florida, and um, for example, there is clouds, and which is possible that we won't actually see it. The intensity is going to be felt no matter where you are in the world, no matter what you're doing. So let's talk about the group energy because this is part of the Emerald Gateway alignment. So tomorrow <coughs> there are people all over the world, literally all over the world and especially on our nation that are uniting at 1111 Pacific time. So for those of you who are here in the East Coast, that makes it to 11 Eastern Standard Time. So we are going to be doing a group meditation at Cole Space starting, starting at 2 and going until 2.15 so that we are connecting the grid, so that we're part of the flower of life across the planet and across our country. So if you want to be part of that, no matter where you are, I will be doing a reminder um, at two o'clock. I'll come on and and remind everybody that that we're getting ready for the global meditation. Um, so if you are wanting to tap in multiple times, it's at eleven. It's at the eleventh minute of every hour. So most people are doing like the hour to eleven every single hour. So starting at eleven eleven your time do 15 minutes of meditation for world prayer and personal prayer and manifesting. And then if you want to uh, <coughs> join the specific world prayer, this one is at um, at exactly 2.11 Eastern Standard Time, or if you want to, to check your time zone, it is based off of the um, totality on Pacific Eastern Time at 11.11. So we're joining the forces and hoping to have more people meditating at the same time to reach mass critical consciousness. So we're uniting the consciousness. We're uniting the grid, the emerald grid, the Gaia grid. So if you can see, I have a green candle to one side. That's the emerald light. So that's, um, that's it's uh, 2 p.m. Our, our time, Tiffany. So it's 11:11 um, 11, 11, uh, Pacific Standard Time AM, 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So for your translating. Um, and then, so we have the green emerald rays, which are connecting, they're coming from the earth plane and they're the feminine divine activating within all of us. And then if you see the fuchsia candle to the other side, and the fuchsia um, roses, this is actually, believe it or not, the masculine divine is actually a, a magenta ray. So we have this magenta flame, uh, almost like a, a violet flame, but it's magenta flame coming through tomorrow. So we're going to be, um, so if you can kind of imagine it connecting as if it were DNA strands within your body, 
um, you've sort of seen the medical snakes, one rising, one, one going up and one going down. Think of it as that. You have a magenta uh, rays coming in and you have green rays, emerald green rays coming in. And we're uniting this as the sacred, ma uh, sacred marriage, the ability for each one of us to understand our own personal sacred divine, to connect to the sacred divine, both the masculine and the feminine. And then we unite those two and have the Trinity, which is the golden light, the golden light of enlightenment. So as we're, we're, we're achieving the balance of masculine and feminine, which is the, the solar eclipse, you get the gold, you get the, the yellow, the, the golden yellow light from the eclipse. So that's the sun's energy. So we have the moon in Leo, the sun in Leo, and then you have the moon and the sun in the eclipse energy. So what is being eclipsed in your life? You can check into what it is that you have to change, what it is that is um, changing your own personal desires, your own uh, choices. And hi, Karen, I see you made it. I love you, I can't wait to our session on Tuesday. So I love, the fact that we are doing this as a global united front, we are looking for critical mass here. Um, we are looking to have more people united in meditation than ever before on this planet. Sort of like a Guinness Book of World Records of meditation at the same time. And I know we're gonna do it and I know it's gonna feel just powerful and amazing and incredible. And so at Cole, we're going to start in the front of the yard at one o'clock for our first meditation for the 111 of, of the afternoon. So that'll be outside because there'll be a yoga class going on. So if someone feels like they wanna start this process with yoga, there's a mindfulness yoga um, that's happening inside Cole Space. I think it starts at 1215. So you could do that, or you could meet us in the front um, front garden yard across from Dandelion, and we'll start our meditating there. We will actually open up coal at 1.30 for the group, and it's a donation only, and all the donations are going to charity. This is just me uh, wanting to anchor space here in Florida. I feel that Central Florida is the heart chakra of Florida. There's a huge heartbeat here, or the pulse and the energy. So so here we wanna anchor that energy for Florida. We wanna anchor that energy for Orlando. We wanna anchor that for those of us who are unable to travel. But it doesn't matter where you are on the planet, just tapping into the time is what's important. And then at Cole, we'll do a group meditation at 2.11 and at 3.30, Maria's bringing a TV so that we can watch the totality from other time zones and see what's going on on the live stream. We'll have some tea and lemonade, both hot and cold tea and some water. And if you want to bring snacks to, to share, please feel free to do so. I'm not providing anything to eat, but there'll be a couple of really fabulous restaurants nearby. And we're really close to Avalon and Spiral Circle and the community center. So if there's any of your spiritual needs that you need to pick anything up from, they're all very close by. And it's kind of like an open house. You can come and go as you please. So feel free to, to join us even for an hour or half an hour. Bring your yoga mats and your pillows and your blankets and whatever you need to be comfortable. I will have the Emerald uh, Heart Chakra singing bowl there. So anybody who wants to play that. I'm going to lay out a stone grid of a Markaba. So if you wanted to lay down and activate your, your gridding for your out, outer grid um, and play with some crystals, there'll be, some, uh, there'll be a station where you can do uh, a lay down within a, a crystal bed of, of crystals um, off on the floor. So that'll be fun. And if you wanna bring your journals or anything you wanna do, you can just have some quiet time. Not everybody has to be interactive with other people. There's no class, there's just some guided things. Um, it's just gonna be, you know, sharing space and anchoring space and, and filling each other up with love and support. So please feel free to come and go as you please. This has been one of the best 
um, most powerful, um, connected times I've ever had in my life where just because of the power of the internet, I've been able to connect with each of you on your journey. I've been able to do some soul healings and some activations. Um, hi, Kelly. Um, I just had just an amazing time with your activation yesterday. So we have these beautiful pieces of, of light that are coming out. We are are eclipsing which means that there's all these stages happening at once we are letting go of what isn't working for us we are questioning ourselves we are questioning others we are I had one of the most deepest um, healing one of the deepest healing conversations has happened in this in-between eclipses where someone I've been in um, dissonance with for over two years and I made peace with each other so whatever it is that you need to do, a lot of people have been cleaning. So hi, Anita, I know you've been cleaning your house and I decided to stay home and do some, some inner housekeeping, some mind housekeeping, did a lot of meditation today. So I was gonna go to the beach and just felt like I needed to really anchor my home and anchor my, my own mind and clear the clutter out of my own mind. Um, traded a traded a session with the most powerful uh, healer in Texas. Uh, thank you, Tiffany, you've made me feel just, just amazing. And my heart and love and gratitude goes out to my spiritual par partner, Lisa, as well as a, a really good reading that came from Barbara Tony yesterday. So Lisa Tony did some work with me this week and so did Barbara Tony. And thank you to all my friends who have been here to support me in the last weeks and months and years. And thank you to all my clients because each of you have come to me with your soul ready to activate, ready to heal, ready to go deeper. And each of my students, you make me um, learn more so that I can, I can be a guide for you. So this today I'm just in so much deep gratitude, just deep, deep gratitude. And, and so as you guys go into this next 24 hours, if you are feeling a little stress, let it go. Breathe, do a lot of breathing techniques, do a lot of inner reflection as far as just how far you've come. The only thing I would say is if you are still in the trauma stage, go back to how far you come. And then if you're in the ready to manifest stage, because tomorrow is just a superpower of manifesting. So we have the power potential to manifest anything you want this new energy, this new world ascension allows you to be where you want to be in the next few years. So get yourself into who do you want to be? What do you want to do? What do you want to, what do you want to create? So it's Leo energy. It's double Leo energy. So tonight we still have the moon in Cancer in its home sign. So the moon loves to be in Cancer and it's the dark moon. So it's inward and it's quiet and it's reflective. So tonight reflect and tomorrow morning you may feel still a little sticky because the new moon won't happen until the afternoon or evening here in the United States. And if you are traveling, try and be nice to each other. Let's, um, let's not fight over glasses. Um, I did hear a really good piece of information. If for some reason you didn't get glasses um, and you cannot find glasses, the best way to view the eclipse is to turn around and view the eclipse from your cell phone and turn your camera around and watch it actually on your phone so you're watching it over your shoulder so if you don't have glasses you're not watching it on tv watch it um, with your back turned to the sun uh, from your from your phone so you, you know everybody's done a selfie so you know how to do that so that's um that's the big piece of advice that uh the scientists are giving us if we just haven't um prepared in time for that uh glass eye protection i plan on having my eyes closed and uniting in group meditation across the world so i want you to join with me in this <sighs> I want you to join with me in this place right now to feel your soul 
letting anything that's broken, anything that is holding you back, I want you to allow yourself to let go. So if you allow me at this time to help you do a healing, I'm going to request from the energy of all that is that your soul fragments be returned to you cleaned and clear that your soul be retrieved from any traumas that you have felt clean and clear and released from the trauma I ask that your broken soul be healed so if you're ready to heal your broken soul heal your broken heart um, definitely feel that your own energy is released on a soul level that your karma forgive what you have been through allow others that forgiveness as well release things with without judgment release yourself from trauma and stress and if you'll allow myself to witness and heal your broken soul creator is going to give you all the rips and tears and healing that you can from the inner part of your soul recreated brand new again this is an opportunity right now for you to open up your heart and be wholehearted open up your soul to be fully whole in your soul all of your soul retrieved and everything you've carried for other people to be released the soul fragments, other people's stuff, projections, your own self-defeating thoughts, your own sabotage be released, cleaned and cleared and sent into the sparkly white light as you close your eyes and feel the waterfall of sparkly white light. It is commanded from all that is that you be released, clean, clear, shiny, brand new again and filled with love, filled with hope, filled with joy, filled with optimum health, that your cells regenerate, that your cells are active, that you're re revitalized, that your cells regenerate as if they are brand new, and that you are released from your shock and your trauma and your pain and your sorrow and your suffering. This is your time. Healing your broken soul, healing your broken heart, and waking up to the ascension process, waking up your cells, activating your 12-strand DNA. If you are listening to this and you wish to have your 12-strand DNA activated, if you haven't, just energize it. And the Markaba, the grid outside of your body, is that which is your 12-strand DNA in a crystalline manner. So you're activating the grid outside your body at a point three feet above your head, three feet below your feet, and where your fingers are extended and where your legs would be extended. That's your that's your markaba. So live with your heart open within that. Imagine your heart open, imagine your mind open, release what you're holding on to in your gut, in your in your stomach, in your solar plexus. Release what you've been unable to say, unwilling to say. Defragging and clearing out your mind. Ready for new information. Ready for new possibilities. Ready for you to meet what you once thought was impossible. And know that you, in your heart, in your mind, in your life, in your joy, are filled with that light. You are that light. And that divine spark is waking up inside of you. You are the creator or the creatrix of your own reality. Be in that energy. Be that energy. Know that it's your divine birthright to wake up. And if you weren't, wake, weren't waking up before, you are waking up right now. If you are already awake, you are stepping into your divine timing. You are stepping into your world. You are waking up other people. You're igniting other people's hearts. You're igniting other people's minds. You're igniting other people's root. And remember that you are still an earth plane being. So don't forget and get off in your head so far that you forget to live healthy in your body, that you are an earth angel, that you are one with the Gaia energy. So that's the green 
energy coming up from the earth and the magenta energy coming and swirling around your heart. So we have unconditional love. I want you to feel the unconditional love and right now at this time, release any wounded masculine, any men who have ever hurt you, or if you are a man, release your negative energy toward your masculinity. If you're a woman, release any negative connotations of, of stepping into your divine masculine birthright. If you're a woman listening right now, opening up to your divine feminine, to, to men, waking up and igniting your divine feminine, releasing any pain and sorrow for any man that has ever hurt you, any woman that has ever hurt you. So as a woman or a man, forgiving the women who have not been there for you in your life and healing it and opening up to your own divine feminine power. And as we unite these two in the sacred marriage, we are opening up our inner glow. We are the glow. We are the golden light, which some people call